اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن اياته ان خلق لكم من انفسكم ازواجا لتسكنوا اليها وجعل بينكم مودة ورحمة إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يتفكرون صدق الله مولانا العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ٹوپک فور دی سرمن ٹوڈے ایز سمتنگ دات ای ہوپ یو لول فائن ویری انٹریسٹنگ اینڈ ویری امپورٹنٹ وان ماریج مدہرڈ فادرہرڈ اینڈ فاملی اینڈ دیس ایز ٹو مارک دی لانچ اینڈ پبلکیشن اف مائی نیو بک کولڈ ریڈ دیس بیفور یو ماری ایس ای بک دات ای روٹ اباٹ ترٹی فائیو یئرز اگو when I was a student at Al-Azhar and in uh, the 12 modules we had, four of the modules all had a book on marriage of one kind or another in Usul al-Fiqh, in Tafsir, in Hadith uh, and in Fiqh we had these uh, so much, mashallah, teachings on marriage that I thought I'd better translate these you know, these were the best teachers, the best scholars of the world, Muslim scholars in Al-Azhar. So I, I took advantage, I translated those notes and we published that as time to marry. But we now have summarized it and made it very easy. This is really something which is, um, which every one of you, inshallah, would love to read, easy to read. We actually had somebody making sure, you know, that this is now written for young people. So you will, inshallah, love it. Fad, all right? <laughs> and I'm really so pleased that 95% of people here I can see are, mashallah, young. Uh, perhaps 70% of you are under 30. Uh, Alhamdulillah, so we've got a very big young population. And also, sadly, a lot of singles, you know? Uh, and I suggest to the parents, you know, who are here, and grandparents, that you need to tell your children uh, they're going to be one day a great mother, a great father, and they're going to have a great family. Because the society out there is telling them, you know, motherhood is a third-class citizenship, uh, fatherhood is non-existent, family is a broken thing of the past, outdated, outmoded uh, institution. And that is the message they are getting, sadly. A false message, of course. <laughs> because we live in the age of the Jal Jaina. You know, the other day I, I was looking out into my garden and I've got a plum tree. And I've, I'm now, this is mid-February, and the buds are coming out. It'll be blossoming soon. The poor tree has been <laughs> deceived as well by the weather. <laughs> and normally it comes in March, you see. But, you know, we live in an age of Dajjal. Even plants are being fooled and tricked <laughs> by climate change. Do you, do you understand when Rasulullah talked about this age of Dajjal, age of falsehood, fakeness, how people will be tricked? You know, we live sadly. Our governments are biggest tricksters. Do I have to give you examples? Which government do you, do you want me to give example of? From Saudi Arabia to Pakistan, to uh, America to uh, China? Do, do you want to... I hope you can see, now we live in an age of Dajjal and this is where you need the light of Islam. You need the light of Quran. You need your deen. You need to protect your conscience, your zameer. You know, the inner being of yours. The world is attacking it, left, right and center, and telling us false things. And we have to really be strong to fight that nonsense, that fakeness, okay? And motherhood, you know, about which Rasulullah said that your paradise lies at the feet of your mother, okay? And, uh, and it's obvious why, okay? And if you are not grateful, kind to your mother, and of course fathers as well, Jaina, then who will you be kind and caring to? Eh? If you don't have a family, well, we know what's happening. If there aren't families, the crime rates increase. In fact, what they showed, they've shown is among young people, when young people uh, get married, 35% of crimes fall. That is how big change it makes, okay? 
So really, this is an institution that humanity cannot do without. And, and, and without this, you know, we will have a broken society. I can't remember any prime minister since uh, Harold Wilson back in the 70s. I, I don't think many of you know that here, but uh, you know, I remember him hearing first time saying, we have a broken society, and the broken society is because there are broken families. And the broken families are there because there are broken individuals. And those broken individuals can only be mended by Allah. Allah is the only one who has the cure. This is why the Quran says, you know, what does the Quran say? Ya Yuhannas, kad ja'atkum maw'izatum min rabbikum wa shifa'u lima fi sudur. People, a wonderful teaching of your Lord has come to you, which is a medicine for the sicknesses of your heart, that brokenness you, know, you feel. How can you be mended? How can you be wholesome? How can you be sane? without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala playing a part in your life and you being connected with him. Okay, so that is why, you know, this idea of marriage, motherhood, fatherhood, family is so crucial. And I was actually encouraged to re rewrite this and, and by a wonderful young entrepreneur, uh, Yunus, uh, Adim Yunus, he, he, he'll be coming here later on today, he might pray Juma with us. And he's the founder of Penny Appeal and also the founder of, of the singlemuslim.com. He's, mashallah, married off nearly a quarter of a million young people in the last 25 years. So he's somebody we look up to as a, not just an entrepreneur, and a businessman, but somebody who's done something amazing. He's married off, mashallah, how many? Quarter of a million in the last 25 years. That is a success, it's amazing. And that is one of the reasons why I have so much respect for him. Allah says, ayama minkum. Allah says, marry off the single, those who are single, marry them off. You know, this is a duty which we are forgetting. And that is why I, I like him because he's carrying that out in a wonderful way. Uh, and of course he does the Penny Appeal, he's the Br British Muslim TV as well. And uh, so we got together to write this and we are now launching this, encouraging young people. And the idea is, you know, that uh, every household, as Moran Sa was saying, you know, should have this to encourage young people to appreciate and value what is a family, what does it mean to be a mother? What does it mean to be a father? What does it mean to have a family in itself, Jai, no? Here is a, this is actually right in the middle of Surah Ar-Rum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us about seven great signs in the creation. So Allah talks about cosmology, talks about the wondrous nature of the galaxies, the sun, the moon, the stars, and then he talks about you know, the wonderful seas and how ships sail on them and so on. And then Allah says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ And among these signs, you see that? وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ Among these signs is what? That he created your wives. Okay? Why? لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا you get solace from her and made love and kindness in your hearts. Now, you know, many people say, how do we, uh, and, and this is where a lot of people get confused and they take years and years loving for lo looking for that love and kindness that, and trying to find the right person. <laughs> trying to find the? You see, that is really strange because I, I, I hope, you know, all families are trying to nurture right people good people and this is where you know the family is so crucial uh, you know we choose th those families that are we know and those that are near okay you know I'm trying to get somebody married off uh, in, in, in Halifax uh, well, one of my nephews and we know three wonderful families just nearby you know who grew up uh, with him and the idea is Hafizab here are three people for you Go on, choose a one, okay? Now, rather than showing them 300, as many people go through <laughs> in the process of looking, 300 people, the more faces you look at, the more confused you become, the more conflated things become, the more difficult they become. And, you know, don't look for those Bollywood heroines, all right? Or, or, or Hollywood heroes. <laughs> don't be stupid, eh? You know, Allah says, Phosphor bizarre the deen. Why are you looking for that Jamal that will dissipate, 
that beauty that will fade very quickly? Why are you looking for that nobility that might change with time? Why are you looking for wealth in somebody that is also ephemeral and fleeting? What you should be looking for is character, goodness, all right? And in this book, this is what I'm really trying to get across to people. But you know, here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you some very important ideas. And if people get this right, you know what is Allah saying? Allah says that He created your spouse for you, your wife for you, and then while tasqunu ilayha, this gives you solace. Okay? Family is to have that place of calmness, tranquility, okay? Uh, you know, the, the, other, the other day this journalist uh, who was trying to come and see me was getting confused. So I'm so busy, I'm so busy, I'm doing this, that. And I wrote back to, uh, to her, hey, um, you know, this is all about your crazy style of life, all right? Why don't you admit that, eh? <laughs> that you, you've got a crazy style of life, okay? And, and when you have that crazy style of life, you, you know, and you're doing this and that, you want pleasure from everything, that is all your life is about, okay? Self-gratification, quick gratification, immediate gratification, come on, that is shaitanic. It's devastating for you as well. And it spoils your mind and heart and your body as well, yeah, no? And you know, the deen is about purity. And, and this is what Allah says. You know, Allah says, you will not get that love before the nikah, before the marriage. Allah says, وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَضَّةً rahma." I will put that love. We will put that love. You know, what does it say? That, and made love and kindness in your heart. We are going to put that in there. Subhanallah, Mawadda and Rahma as well. Mawadda, love, Rahma, kindness and care in your hearts. Inna fi zalika la ayatil liqawmi yatafakkaroon. Here are signs for not everybody. Who are these signs for? People who? Are you people who reflect or not? I hope you are. <laughs> but reflection means sitting down, reading, paying attention. You know, something which many of us don't like to do. We've perhaps never ha held a book in our, <laughs> well, in the last year or so, or even last week. Yeah, no? You know, Muslims, you know, Allah has given us a book. Allah swears by the book. Noon wal qalami wa ma yasturoon. He swears by the pen that writes. He says, ikra, read. Hey, what, what's the matter with us, my dear brothers and sisters? And young children, you know, become readers. You know, rather than wasting your time on that evil and wretched s smartphone that you carry and you look at all the time, there's research now coming out day in day how dangerous it is now. You know, and the more faces you look at, the more things you look at, the more crazy you become. Okay? The choice is yours. Either whether you want to become crazy, or whether you want to become sane and pure, with pure heart so that you can learn, you know, reflect on this. Allah says, here are seven signs that you can actually see. And then Allah says, look at this sign of mine. How he has, so family is an important institution. So in this book, inshallah, those of you who will buy it, you know, it's available from outside here. Do please, you know, uh, spend money on books as well, okay? I know many of you will perhaps be going off and getting a, 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 a McDonald or whatever it is, you know, and 15 pounds is quite easy. But to buy a book for 10 pounds, that's a zulm jayana, hey? What do you expect to say? 10 pounds for a book, why? <laughs> you know, uh, but... This book will, inshallah, tell you, you know, first of all, it helps you to understand the importance of marriage. And then it asks how to select your partner, okay? What are the criteria that we use? What are the standards that you should be looking for in somebody? Then the engagement, what happens then? Then the big day of marriage, how you should prepare for that. And then how to make it work. You know, how, how do we get this marriage working? And of course, the crucial thing in all that is simply you being and her being person of Allah. Allah. Okay? When that is so, then inshallah there's going to be success there, yeah, no? Anyway, we, we, this is a, a book inshallah that you will really uh, gain from. Parents, I hope you will have this at home to encourage your daughters. You know, our daughters are now beginning to see what is marriage, eh? Charlie Salni and Jason Tafir shared so much. You know, and this is the new madness as well. It's, uh, there's a particular name for it. You know, people in their 20s and 30s think they are adolescents. <laughs> so let, me, let us enjoy another 20 years, you know. 
<laughs> without a family, without a home, without, you know, settling down. Let's, you know, that's a madness of new kind. You know, let the kafirs have it. Muslims, you shouldn't. All right? You should have sense of ghairat, yeah, no? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi says, you know, he says, Aqaf, one of the disciples, he was sitting in front of him. And Rasulullah sallallahu of course, knew his disciples. And he knew Aqaf. And he said, Aqaf, are you married? He said, no. And he said, um, are you well off? He said, yes. Uh, then he said, you are the brother of shaitan. What did he say? You are the brother of shaitan. Yes. Yes, you are the brother of shaitan. And if you were a Christian, you would have been a monk. Because they don't get married. Oh, saying, my followers should get married. Okay. And then a calf, of course, you know, immediately understood. And he said, Ya Rasulullah, well, marry me off then. <laughs> Make arrangements for me. And Rasulullah said, Go to Kulsum and ask for her daughter Karima. Subhanallah. <laughs> Rasulullah had done his homework as well. He knew, okay? He'd done his homework. He knew his Sahaba. Father Shadi You know, young people have to learn to listen. Eh? I know you're very clever. You know I teach you, so you're very clever. But don't, don't be fooled. You know, this is another dajjal you're in. My mom and dad don't know how to use computers, and we are very clever, therefore. No, you're not clever, Jana. Their wisdom of 50 years, you can't match that, Jana. So anyway, I, I, I really, really recommend that you read this book. There is no profit for me. I don't take pennies. In fact, I'm spending on it even now. When I'm going around, I'm not paid for spending on my own petrol in order to encourage people, alhamdulillah. So this is really, you know, don't look at it in the wrong way. Look at it in the positive way that, mother, I need this. Eh? I need this encouragement. All of you, you know, have it in your home. We've got some copies outside. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us <coughs> to, you know, value these great institutions. You know, if we don't preserve it today, we're already at, honestly, at a very dangerous time. If we don't, you know, this would be the end of our deen in this country, yeah, no? So we need to preserve this great institution.